What's up world, it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to save battery life by restricting one of the most notorious wake locks on Android. An app can request a wake lock to prevent your device from entering deep sleep mode so that it can sync data in the background. This obviously drains your battery, since instead of running in low power sleep mode, your processor is fully activated so that it can perform this task. But these wake locks are a necessary evil, since many of the apps and services that we enjoy simply could not function without them. And probably the most complained about wake lock in the history of Android is the NLP wake lock. This one is unavoidable for most people, since it's requested by Google Play services and is tied directly to your phone's location reporting. Essentially, every 60 seconds, Google Play services sets off a CPU wake up alarm that then places this NLP wake lock into effect so that your device can update its location data. Well, developer Cryptic decided that 60 seconds was far too frequent and created an expose module that reduces the alarm interval to once every four minutes. In effect, this should greatly reduce battery drain caused by the NLP wake lock and its companion NLP collector wake lock. And at the same time, you don't have to lose any existing functionality. But the module hasn't found its way to the exposed repository just yet, so you'll have to download it from the developer's XDA thread. I've got that download linked out for you at the full tutorial, and if you need help getting the Exposed Framework installed in the first place, there's also a simple guide on that subject. So head over to the link in the description below this video and you'll find everything you need to cut back on this long-standing battery drain. But with the module downloaded, just tap the Download Complete notification to begin. From here, tap Install. Then when that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module isn't activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification to take care of both of those at one time. And when you get back up, no further setup is needed. The module will work its magic, and you should see a nice little bump in battery life. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.